7th August is a, a great occasion for all the amateur league clubs, but particularly for us, obviously, at Malacans and our good friends uh, next door, Grove. Both are playing home at the same time, so it'll be good to see everybody back and having a bit of crack and hopefully both getting three points. Shelton's coming straight at me, I think, happy days. I went to kick it, missed the ball completely. <laughs> missed it completely. <laughs> I remember thinking at the time, I used to be, I used to be good at this. I used to be good at this. So, so I think that's when Paul stopped following me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Grove United are our partners here at the Stadium of Sand and their pitch just over here which is the San Siro on the Shore Road. Uh, so we have been together now for over 25 years. We first came together in 1992 when Malacans uh, took over the lease of the pitch here. We have probably been the first cross-community uh, partnership, uh, certainly in the amateur league or maybe other leagues, but in the amateur league. And our relationship with the lads, we were out with the committee on Saturday night, the Lansdowne. Their committee were out too. We had a good bit of banter between ourselves. Being a chairman to me isn't as difficult as what some people may think it may be, transparent to be, because I have good people around me who take on responsibility, doing everything that needs to be done, making sure the nets are proper for Saturday, penalty spots, referees are sorted. So there's good people around the club who continually help us. So everybody is really putting a lot of effort in and it's important that we keep that community aspect. Numerous, numerous people who have done it for the love of football. <laughs> did, you, did you not know the story? <laughs> oh, brilliant, James. Yeah. yeah. Actually, from the White Bell Road, which is just literally uh, half a mile away here, uh, from the top end of the White Bell Road, and lots of the group boys are from the Shore Road. So our team, both teams, be predominantly North Belfast, Newton Abbey, sort of Glen Gormley area. So I mean, I would have played on the pitches just over here as a child, and my first club was behind me here at Star LC, which is now gone. It's a housing development, but that was a big part of growing up. And lots of the boys who play for Grove actually would have gone to Star LC as well. <laughs> What I seen on Facebook came from a club called Miola and it was all about this child who in his younger days was given a ball by his father and the father to start as usual was going oh we Jimmy and I wants to go and play football he wants me in the garden he wants me off as a tea I just can't sit and be a couch potato but by the very end of it as the whole story went across is that when it's finished, the father actually realises that through football, through the community aspect, that everyone that he's met, friends, family, a wider community family, has been a part of his life and will go forward as part of his life. <laughs> 